what is happening everyone we are back today with another video it is a cold and miserable wet windy evening i've just finished work and i've come home to some power fold mirrors i've been waiting for these or waiting to do this for quite a while now um well we're going to be doing this a bit differently to everyone else because i see a lot of people out there buying the um like the gem or the central lock-in module to actually enable these power fold mirrors to work we are not doing that we are going to show you how to actually program your original module in the car to get these mirrors to work so all you fucking assholes out there who want to just sell the modules for ridiculous money you are now bypassed because I'm fed up with people doing stupid stuff like this when it's not necessary. All you need is an Elm 327 OBD connector and a laptop. And all you got to do is science a force scan, which takes like two fucking minutes. So enough of the rant. We are going to be doing this so we get the mirrors to work on Powerfold. And also we are going to be doing it so when um, you lock the car, you actually have the mirrors fold automatically so the main component that you'll need from all of this is the i'll find it in a minute the main component you'll need from this is to change this switch to the power fold one which i'll show you once i find it in a second and believe it or not i would actually try this before you go and spend money on power fold mirrors unfortunately my ones, I think, don't work because obviously it's never been programmed to the car. So you probably find that the motors are probably seized or something. I don't know. But it has all the wire in there. I'll show you, like, the plugs and stuff so you can have an idea. Because I know some plugs have, like, three or four wires in them or something. And the others have, like, a fuck ton of them. And the ones with loads of the wiring in it are the ones that you need to actually run this system otherwise you've got to then go to another st get it all the wiring off it and retrofit it yourself but luckily for me i've got a facelift model so 99.9% .9 of the facelift models have this wiring and all the setup pre-done it's literally just a case of program it or get some mirrors and program it so again enough of the rant over i will actually show you what we need to do on the driver's side because that's the most important because the passenger side is easy and i've already done it as i wanted to make sure this worked because i don't want to look an arsehole on camera but let's get to it so all we're gonna do for now is aim on getting this cover off getting the switch out and unplugged and taking the actual old cover off your mirror because the new mirrors normally come with like a primed or like shitty gloss black surface as you the the other mirror I've taken it off because it it came with a uh, just like a primed surface so I'm just gonna find this switch because it's somewhere in this car and then once I get the switch we'll actually show you what you need to do okay so now we've got the switch as you can see it's slightly different to the old one as you can see the old ones literally just got a left and right motion then like an, one to do nothing this one has the left right motion and then a the little toggle to actually fold the mirrors down as you can see this switch is a bit fucking grim um but once i fit it all i'll just get like a little nice little cloth in there or something and give it a nice clean uh they're not expensive they're on ebay normally second hand i think i paid like 12 quid for this one but that's another story so let's just get this door open and i'm just going to make sure it's shut and then I'm going to just gently tease this cover out if I just be what I did I'll literally just tease a little screwdriver under here just be careful not to damage the plastic luckily I'm changing the mirrors anyway so it doesn't matter too much and then you can see now it's starting to come out just be gentle with it you don't want to snap or crack it on your nice painted one so it's gently going across the edge it 
there she does it right luckily that landed on the bottom <laughs> otherwise that would have ended quite nasty and obviously it's hard doing it one hand but right so that's out now so we can place that to one side okay so as for this side now you've got this little trim you just rip it off like that ram that motherfucker okay and then you'll see a little multi-plug here press that in and the pull that's your mirror unplugged and then as for your switch for your um like mirror direction you're just going to push it through okay so once you get that worked out of the trim there's a little tab there you just want to leave it underneath the plastic here to remove that tab and the plug should come out okay so that's your old switch out and we pull this trim off out the way okay so as for the next step you've got a miniature I'll get a light okay so you've got a t20 torx up here and then behind the loom you've got a 10 mil just there so I'm just gonna remove those and then once you've done that the mirror should just come off just give it a little wiggle and we should be good to go okay so that's the old mirror off now and just remember to move the little foam part that comes off with it so we can just place this to one side because we won't be needing that no more you're gonna see obviously a new like sponge uh, cover of some sort that will go over like the bolt holes and stuff like that and then you'll see two little tabs down here and basically all you want to do is line those two tabs up with those two holes there you can see my door's a bit rusty it's the same on the other side so we'll have to get that addressed at some point but yeah if i just drop you down and i'll just quickly fit this mirror back in get it all bolted up it's pretty easy I mean, if you can't do a mirror, then on this car anyway, then I'm a bit worried, if I'm honest with you. Okay, so once your mirror is all on secure, and you're happy with how it looks, mine fits pretty nice to be fair, nothing too crazy. And then it's just a case of putting your original cover back on so it matches with the car there just break off the two ends and you're all good to go so i'm just going to break them off fit the cover show you it all fitted and we'll just go from there okay so as you can see now nice and flush, no problems at all so it's lovely to be fair can't complain so we go back in the car now and we get our bit of trim we get a new switch and feed it through and then click it so that's that's that and then remember plug your new mirror back in that and then just plug your switch in back to there let's plug back in it's just now a case of refit this little uh, bit of trim here so once you get it lined up just right now it's all flush as you can see it's lovely So let me just move this mirror out of the way. Get the tools out of the way. Like that. Okay. So now you can see the mirrors are fitted. Well, you've only seen this side, but I've done the other side. I'm now going to show you the button fully functioning and obviously with a lock and unlock so function so you know that we haven't done anything because I've pre-programmed it off camera and I'm going to show you how to do that. I just want to make sure that both sides are working before I go any further. 
So please don't like think that I'm fucking with anyone. I will show you exactly what to do. It's just a case of, oh, I just want to make sure everything's okay. So I've got my keys in my pocket, but I just want to make sure this switch is working, which it is. As you can see, both sides, press it again. That comes out and that comes out. So that is working great. So I'm just going to adjust my mirror this side just so I don't forget to do it when I leave for work tomorrow because I'm normally lastminute.com. Okay, so that's perfect. So if I lock the car now, which I'm going to show you with the key, and you can see the mirror there to not bullshit you. Okay, and unlock. Right. So that proves to you now that we have fully functioning power fold mirrors. So now I'm going to show you how to do it without being robbed by some we won't even call them what I was going to call them on eBay or Facebook wanting stupid money for these modules when in theory your one can do the exact same thing. So let me get the laptop, let me get the Elm 327 out and we will show you what you exactly need to do. Okay, so once we get, once we've done all the mirrors, you fitted them, fit the button, all that jazz, um, you just want to go on the laptop, plug your own 327 in, and load up Forescan, which we'll do here. So, once you've connected it all up, you would just want to click connect to vehicle, obviously with the ignition on, and just wait for that bad boy to load up. If you've got a uh, switchable can thing, which it's asking me, then just click yes and make sure that it's switched to the correct position. It won't read the generic electric mo electronic module if it isn't so if it doesn't just reconnect or disconnect and reconnect the car and put the switch in the other position but as you can see mine's already switched to the correct point right so you want to go to configuration and programming gem module configuration once you've done that click the little run service procedure down here Okay, so we've got a load of things. You can do a lot of things on here. You can have auto lamps and stuff like that. I've tried it on mine, but it don't work because I've got a switch, but we're not here for that. So you just want to scroll down and you want to look for mirrors auto fold on lock enabled. So you just click it, edit selected, and then click enabled and then tick. Mirrors, power fold button, because we fitted a new power fold button. So again, click it, edit selected, make sure it's enabled. Click OK. Oh, don't want to do nothing with that. And power fold in mirrors, this is the main one. It should say unequipped when you do your one. Make sure it's equipped. Click OK. And once you've done all that, just click right, and it should go old value and new value. Obviously, yours will say not equipped, and then it will say equipped on the new one. Click that, it will write, cycle the ignition off and then back on. Click OK. And then once you've done all that, you can just click stop service stop service procedure okay go back up to the top and disconnect the car and that's all you need to do to tell this car that it has power folding mirrors and to get them to work okay so as you can see that's all programmed up now and you should have some power folding mirrors if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a like. I'm always happy to respond to any comments. If you have any or any questions you want to ask, more than grateful that you're even spending time to watch these videos in the first place. But if you did enjoy this and you found that it did help you out, 
please click the uh, subscribe button. Really goes a long way and helps this channel grow. I can't stress it enough because we've got more than just this car ready to come on this channel. So um, if you want to see some more things and you want to see this car progress more, then all you got to do is click that subscribe button. It takes two seconds and doesn't cost a penny. But it really goes a long way for me. But yeah, that's enough chit-chat from me, and I'll catch you later. Take care.